Assalamu alaikum. This is Abdul Rahman, a student of King Faisal University. We are in part 20 of a series of lessons on one form using C sharp. In this lesson, we will create a simple daily employee payroll generation application using SQL Server Express database. We will use SQL classes such as SQL Connection, SQL Command, SQL Data Adapter, and SQL Data Reader. In our activity, we will use only one form that has a data grid view, a data time picker, and a button. The user should pick the date of the payroll, and upon clicking a button, the payroll of all employees must be generated and displayed on the data grid view. We will have two related tables in this project, employees and payroll. Let's create a new project and name it WF20 underscore one. Right click project, add new item, data, service based database, name it DB company, double click DB company, right click tables, add a new table, name it employees, change ID to employee ID, change its is identity property to true to make it automatic with default increment of one. Add another field name and change its data type to an invarker. Add another daily salary with data type decimal. Click update button, then update database. Notice that the employees table has now been created. Right click employees and click show table data. Add Abdullah 50,000. Hamza 70,000 and Ibrahim 60,000 to create three rows. Add second table and name it payroll. Change ID to payroll date. Add employee ID with data type int. Set these two fields as primary key. Add field salary with data type decimal. I click update button, then update database. Right click the project. Click add. Click reference. Click assemblies. Check system.configuration. Click OK. In the main menu, click view. Other windows. Data sources. Click add a new data source. Next. 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 Check the tables. Finish. Go back to form one design. Add a label. A date time picker. A button. And a data grid view. Uncheck adding, editing, and deleting. Change the text properties of label to start date. And button to generate payroll. Now we are ready to code. Double click the button. You may choose to strong type using system.configuration and system.data.sql client. Create two SQL connections. Name them con and con2. We need the connection name, so double click app.config and copy the whole name including the codes. Open the connections. Create try catch block. I create a message for any error.
close the connections. Assign value of date time picker to variable payroll date. Create SQL command to select all employees. Place the result in data reader. For every row in data reader, do the following Create command to insert an employee's payroll. Parameter payroll date from variable payroll date. Parameter employee ID from data readers employee ID. Add parameter salary from data readers daily salary. Execute the command. Display how many records were created. Create an object of data table. Create an object of data adapter to display all rows from payroll table for the current payroll date. Fill the data table. Set data grid views one source to data table. Run it. Select a date. Click the button. Three rows for our current three employees payroll were inserted. Well done! For your challenge, modify our project by adding another data grid view to show all employees information. Thank you for joining me in this channel.